Overseas tonight into breaking developments out of Paris now. The terror plot thwarted and the chilling details emerging tonight. The one mistake that led to the whole plan falling apart. A 24-year-old computer science student accused of planning to unleash a major attack near that iconic city, targeting churches, amassing an arsenal of weapons. The suspect discovered by accident. ABC's chief foreign correspondent, Terry Moran now. A residence hall for students in Paris. So ordinary, but behind the sealed off door of apartment 310, police say a terror attack was in the works. The alleged mastermind, Sid Ahmed Glam, a 24-year-old computer science student from Algeria. They say his plan, kill Christians in churches as they worshiped on Sunday morning. This is one of the targets, it's believed, the old church of Saint-Cyr Saint-Julite. On Sunday morning, the suspect was in this area, armed and planning an imminent attack. That morning, around 8 a.m., a quiet Paris suburb, police say Glam shot and killed a stranger, 32-year-old dancer Aurélie Chatelain, who was sitting in her car working on her computer. A half hour later, a speed camera captures his car about two miles away, driving fast. Then, at 8.50 a.m., Glam calls emergency services, saying he's accidentally shot himself. Police find him outside his home on the sidewalk, bleeding heavily from a gunshot wound in the leg. A trail of blood leads them to his car. Inside, a cache of weapons, AK-47s, a stolen police pistol, bulletproof vests, maps, and in his apartment, documents referencing al-Qaeda and ISIS. Tonight, authorities are looking for accomplices, and prosecutors say they have evidence Glom was in contact with someone in Syria who is giving him directions to attack churches here. David? Terry Moran tonight. Terry, thank you.